Stop. Let's get on with your son. Yes. What is Mom. That? What is the atmosphere like tonight? You have a tour starting tomorrow. Is it always like this, or is this an exception? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Come, it on. Is. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's like we, we did. We, uh, what, uh, 16 days ago, we got over from Japan. Mm -hmm. How long have you, for example, rehearsed for the tour? Or have you? No. We just, we just jam out, man. We just jam out. It is, it is like this. We have a lot of fun. Whenever we get together, we haven't seen each other for like two or three weeks. We get together, it gets crazy. It is like this. Yeah. We're buddies. <laughs> uh, we can't help it. There's nothing wrong with us having, you know what I mean? So we had some fun. First thing see right? Zach going. <laughs> Are you I going to have the same sound on stage, maybe as in the record? Or do you it's a, like it's up to the guy out front. We can we can just try as hard as we we can play it exactly the same way. But you know, face it, the guy out front is sitting there, you know, hitting the wrong dials. I mean, it's not going to exactly yeah. sound. You're not in there. It is but better. Skin, he knows what he's doing, and he he makes it sound great. You know, it is better. It is better because it's more spontaneous, more energy. Serious energy, man. That's what this band's about. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a lot more fun to play live. Lots of botulism. Robert Palmer said in Montreux that in every band there are stereotypes, like the guitar players into women and whiskey and... The drummer is completely crazy, and the yeah, bass player just <laughs> stands behind and wants to be invisible. Yeah, and then there is the frontman. Is it like this? No, he's talking shit. Everyone has their own personality. You know? well, right you say, but it's just that Zach's into men. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! To prove it. I'm invisible. Yeah, definitely. I have to be moisturized. No, it changes from day to day Shut depending up. on what mood any guy in the band is in. Sometimes yeah, he'll know. be crazy, he'll be crazy, you know. And some you days, you know, I'm like, we just have a bundle of fun, we just, have, we just go over there. <laughs> Most nine, nine times, a, like, like, for instance, we hadn't played together for six weeks before we went to Japan. And it sounded like it. The first night was a bit iffy. Oh, it was real dodgy, the first night. Then I, I, as the shows go on, it got better and better. But it's not going to be a repeat tomorrow when we play here because we, we, it's only been like 14 days since we played together. So we, we go in there tomorrow afternoon and we'll have a jam. It's going to be great. Is the first or the last gig of the tour usually the best with children? You know what it is? Every gig, you know, the thing is, we go out with this attitude like, to have fun, you know. Put it this way: we don't go out and go, "Hey, are we gonna play exactly right tonight?" It's just like, "Hey, man, let's just go out and have fun and totally laugh at each other." You know what I mean? Spit on the each other. The thing is, Zach, spit on each other. Hell. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It, it's just like, let's have some fun. Hell yeah. was on the baggage tickets, and that's what we're gonna give him. No, the, <laughs> the bottom line with this band is to have a good time. And if we're not having a good time, it's not worth doing. So that's what we're here for. We're doing it. We're you here for it. How does the, the, this tour, for example, differ from your first Black Sabbath tour? What are the main differences? Well, it's a little... <laughs> for example, the equipment and... I beg your pardon, ma'am? Yeah, my dear is Black Sabbath. What are the main differences between this tour and, for example, Wait your and first see. I, I mean, everyone always tries to analyze the way we play, we play the way we play is the way we play on the night. It's sometimes good, it's sometimes terrible, it's sometimes great. You can never predict. We always hope that we're going to play great. Sometimes power cuts. Sometimes things yeah, happen. Mechanical failures, but I mean yeah, we're yeah. doing the best we can. We're going to be right? brilliant tomorrow. What has been the worst gig of your lives? Helsinki tomorrow night. Helsinki tomorrow night. When they're bombed Hiroshima. Oh, man. No, no. You can't say it. Sometimes they're real bad, sometimes they're really good. Bomb, you know, bomb. you know, you know. Some, sometimes I'll come and start, I'm thinking, I'll, I'll, I'll say, that was a terrible gig. People are going to come to me and going, oh, Ozzy, that was so good. 
You, you can't, because we, we have a fallback system on stage. We don't hear what goes out front. We hear monitors, you know. We hear monitors, so, you know. For what, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, the sound on record is live. You know, I've seen some shows where I go, man, that really sucked, you know what I mean? Uh, because it didn't sound like the record. And the thing is, the band probably had the, the record sound up on stage. Same amps, everything they used on the record. But the thing is, if the guy isn't controlling out front, isn't controlling it right, you know, he's got, like, let's say, um, the guitar whacking up there, and you can't hear the guy singing, and then you can't really hear the drums that good, and the bass is booming. You know, it's just like, this doesn't sound remotely close. But what we're playing up front, it, we're, no one's louder than anybody. And we're probably up front, we're hearing a great sound. You know, we're rocking out, getting into it. And it's just like, up front it could be like, you know, why don't these guys just leave the stage? You know, it really sucks. The best thing we can do is to try to have a great time on stage and play with each other on stage and express that. And if we're good on stage, it's going to come through you up have front. Mind, mind. What do you think of Udo? How did you get in touch with him, and why did you choose him? He's cool. Your He's cool, man. He's, um, well, I met, I met, I, I played, um, uh, with Udo when he was at Accept. Yeah, about four years ago. Uh, and I haven't seen he Udo. He told us today. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't mm. seen Udo since, since those days. I'm looking forward to playing with him again. He looks great. He's got a great voice. Yeah. I've got all these albums. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always been wearing the Miracle Man video. Did you have any practical difficulties in making it? With all those. <laughs> There's pig shit everywhere. Yeah, I wiped <laughs> out one time. I did a massive spinal tap. Right in the pig shit. And they were licking my bell bottoms. It was pissing me off. But things I, I wiped out. All I was worried about was my guitar. But, see, you know, see, the thing it was is. fun, though. How much, fun, do you, how much do you plan for the videos? <laughs> or do you let somebody else to direct them? Or I would direct it. My wife. <laughs> how about the crazy babies? It's a very much different from the videos you've done before. My wife. <laughs> about the choir boys. By the way, I, I, did you meet the no, choir boys while they were in L.A.? Yes. Did they ever get out of there? Yes. Good. <laughs> we saw them when they were leaving there in London. And we never saw them since. If you could change one thing in the rock and roll business, apart from interviews, what would it be? The <coughs> That was good. The guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> what would he be? I think what's going to happen eventually, MTV is going to burn itself out. And it's going to go. I, I hope to think it would go, get right back to basics. But I don't think it will do. Because because w when Geezer and I were playing, and, and suppose Randy. In the early days, it was like a mystique. There's no mystique anymore. You mean like you, you, you now make a record and you you're visual. I mean, for for many years, a lot of American people thought that Black Sabbath were from San Francisco.